Hello everyone, greetings from Costa Rica where we are already for five weeks trying to film as many snakes as possible for our YouTube channel for you and of course some other wildlife uh, if it's possible and uh, here as you can see we have a beautiful big Ferdelands so this video is a little bit different um, and special because you actually see us in front of the camera and we want to announce a new feature on our YouTube channel and it's going to be uh, the membership program. So we will allow um, people or our viewers to join as members. Um, first of all we want to say that um, all of our videos which are already on our channel will be for free and they will stay for free so you can watch them uh, without any problem this is just an option for um, those who want to support support us more um, to donate some money um, to our channel uh, monthly and we were thinking about how to make this interesting to you and uh, also you know give you some rewards for that so um, we will start with two levels the first one will be called rattlesnake level <laughs> and the reason why um, because um, to everyone who will um, uh, support us um, in this level uh, we will give a big thank you um, after each of the regular videos uh, on our channel and this thank you or shout out will um, appear at the end of the video uh, when you will hear the rattling sound so that's why we called it uh, rattlesnake level uh, then uh, there is another one called uh, mamba level mambas are very intelligent snakes and uh, we will um, post a special members only um, post uh, on our community tab um, for those who will uh, support us in this level and it will include behind the scenes stories more photography because a um, big part of our work is not only filming wildlife but also uh, photography and Susanna is the creative director of uh, <laughs> photography in Living Zoology and I'm mostly responsible for the footage, for the videography. Uh, so already some of you asked us uh, about more photos and maybe stories about how we take photos. Um, we can also photos, tell you... How, how we film snakes, of, of course, course, of and course. Something how it looks like behind the scenes. Yes, and I just wanted to say that we can also uh, include more stories about the species so you can you can have a post with the photo of uh, Ferdelands for example and then some more information uh, about the species some for example interesting experiences from our work with the species and of course we can do it with more species um, and not only snakes but other wildlife and the last thing is basically question to you because um, uh, in 2020, uh, during our trip in Kenya, in August, we started to film behind-the-scenes footage. Before, we were not doing it, we were just filming, you know, the um, high-quality natural history stuff for our documentaries and shorter videos. But uh, last year, we started to do behind-the-scenes and uh, we included some of the footage in some of the videos uh, like the video about the puff feather from Kenya or mamba from Kenya maybe you noticed uh, and we want to ask you if you are interested in behind the scenes stories from our trips uh, we are continuing to film this kind of stuff uh, here from Costa Rica so um, we will already have it from two trips and it will be like more you know travel herping travel wildlife um, all this kind of stuff uh, so uh, you can see all these difficulties yeah. which are during our expeditions <laughs> so you will see us working with snakes filming snakes but also walking in the forest trying to find animals um, driving through difficult terrains or things like that so um, 
uh, please let us know in the comments if you will be interested in these kind of videos yes so you can you can imagine what's behind all our footage yes it's not yes. just uh, we came to the forest and we filmed everything nicely but you can imagine how it looked like mm -hmm. and um, if you will be interested maybe we can make this as another third level of membership we will probably call it a king cobra level because it will be the the highest point that uh, we will you know edit special special footage uh, for you so please let us know if uh, this kind of uh, videos will be interesting for you and then we will take it from there for now we will uh, start with the two levels rattlesnake level and mamba level and we will see how it goes of course uh, we want to thank you so much for all your support uh, thanks to you the viewers on our youtube channel um, i was uh, lucky enough to become um, basically a wildlife youtuber let's say so wildlife filming is now my uh, uh, full-time job uh, after five years we were doing this um, mostly as a hobby in living zoology yeah absolutely so, in free time for for our money yeah yeah so uh, Susanna still has uh, her uh, full-time job but now yeah. for me uh, I can say I'm mostly fully focused on uh, filming snakes and other wildlife and then editing you know different videos and documentaries so thank you so much for your support thank you very and much. we are going to release this beautiful snake um, after after this part you will see um, some uh, behind the scenes uh, we will show you how we work with this snake and that it was very enjoyable and we will try to look for more snakes this night so thank you very much See you soon on our YouTube channel. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> of course, when we want to film wild snakes, we have to work with them a little bit, we have to handle them but always we try to do it very carefully and with uh, big respect for the snake and usually if you make slow movements the snake is calm usually people uh, think that terciopelos tries try to attack you a lot or they try to bite you but from our experience, if you work carefully and slowly, the snake is, is not trying to bite you or anything. So we are now, let's say maybe a meter from this big Ferdelands and the snake is just nicely coiling up itself under this um, big tree and really this, this snake um, has a terrible reputation everywhere we go uh, people tell us that these snakes were uh, trying to bite them or even like chasing them um, we have worked with I would say already like 15 individuals together on both our trips to Costa Rica um, I don't remember the exact number because we were working or we saw many many babies so um, we were not like exactly counting them but we basically didn't encounter a Ferdelands which was really striking a lot trying to you know bite and we think that um, it's a lot about the way you approach these snakes and the way how you work with them and in many documentaries about venomous snakes um, all the the topic about these animals is dramatized a lot and when people work with these animals in a fast way they make fast movements you know they scare these animals um, then of course the animal 
is going to defend itself and these animals have amazing weapons in their bodies and those those are fangs and venom glands so if they really feel threatened uh, they might try to use the venom but of course um, the venom evolved for uh, killing prey and snakes are actually quite fragile and um, they just don't want to fight with the prey because they can get badly injured so that's why the venom uh, evolved so they can just inject the venom and the prey will die quickly without a fight um, so of course the snake will use the venom to defend itself only if you really corner it if you make it really really scared and it feels really threatened so um, as you can see here this is this is a very normal and typical experience for us with uh, different venomous snakes either elapids or, or vipers this is very typical experience the snake is just behaving quite naturally we are not bothering it too much and we can get really nice uh, beautiful natural footage so yeah this is us in Costa Rican rainforest enjoying this very nice and um, enjoyable encounter with Big Ferdelands, the the most feared snake of Central America.